Japan is well known for its earthquakes. For this reason, it is critical to reinforce buildings and furniture and prevent objects from falling in order to protect our lives. We visited a Takumi who created an innovative bookshelf designed to withstand earthquakes. Hi, I'm Michelle. Books falling off shelves during an earthquake. This is not only dangerous, but it could also damage books and block the escape route. Today's Takumi or innovator has come up with a way to prevent books from falling off. Let's find out his secrets. The Takumi works in Kumamoto City. A massive earthquake struck this area in April 2016. What technology arose from this city? Hello, I'm Michelle. Hi, I'm Ikenaga. Nice to meet you. This is today's Takumi, Ichiro Ikenaga. He is in charge of product development at an office furniture manufacturer. He first took us to the facility where they conduct shake table testing. Here, they simulated various types of earthquakes for the development of the bookshelf. You see the two bookshelves? The one on the right is a normal bookshelf, and the one on the left is our quake-resistant bookshelf. They look exactly alike. Are they really different? Yes, they are. Let's recreate the tremors of a powerful earthquake and watch what happens. Whoa! It's amazing! Look at all the books on the right! Many books fell off the normal bookshelf. On the other hand, not a single book fell off the Takumi's bookshelf. What's the difference? Let's take a closer look. This shelf is sticking out. Was it like this before the quake? You've uncovered the secret. Comparing the two shelves, we can see that the Takumi's shelf has protruded out. Moreover, the shelf is slightly tilted inward. Let's look at the bookshelf from the bottom. Keep your eyes towards the back of the shelf. When there is a strong tremor, the shelf slides outward, creating a slant. This is what prevents the books from falling. Although the mechanism seems rather simple, the Takumi finally arrived at this conclusion through trial and error. At first, the shelf was parallel to the floor. The plan was to let the shelf slide into a groove to make it slant inward. But when it was tested, the books fell off the shelves before the mechanism came into effect. Books fall over when its center of gravity moved beyond the edge of the shelf. The Takumi sought of a way to tilt the shelf before this happened. After thinking through, he wondered what if the shelves were slightly tilted from the beginning. This new idea had a great advantage. A quick experiment. A weight in substitution for a book is placed onto a tilted shelf made of cardboard. When the floor is shaking sideways, the book moves to the left, whereas the shelf moves to the right. The two moved in opposite directions. When the idea was tested, the shelves fell into the groove and the book stayed in place. There was also an unexpected increase in stability, with the books being drawn toward the center of gravity of the bookshelf. Once the quake settles down... You can fix it. It's really easy! We can push it back into its original state. The challenge, however, was determining the perfect angle of the shelf. If the shelf was too slanted in the initial state, it would make it hard to pull out the books. On the other hand, if the shelf was overly slanted after the quake, it would require too much strength to push it back. After repeated attempts, the Takumi finally found the perfect angle. 
it was two degrees. Only two? That's right. And the shelf was angled to five degrees when it slid out. Two degrees and five degrees. It took Tatakumi a whole year to figure out these two optimal numbers. The Takumi's bookshelves are installed in many local libraries. In the 2016 Kumamoto earthquake, the effect of his technology was demonstrated. At this library, they installed the Takumi's bookshelf for the three upper shelves. As a result, all of the books remained in place during the tremor. Our objective is not limited to providing measures against earthquakes. It is our mission to develop products with three things in mind, protecting the people, the property, and the facility. What do you think? Well, this type of shelf might be good for other items that would fall and break during an earthquake, like glass and chinaware. Because of its simplicity, the shelf is versatile. And what struck me the most is the idea of using the energy of the earthquake against itself. In the event of a disaster, libraries could become an evacuation site too. So Ikenaga also hopes to develop a bookshelf equipped with Lifeline that will be useful after an earthquake strikes. Thank you very much, Michelle. So Dr. Sato, how would you wrap up today's topic on the latest encryption system? In the past, encryption was used mainly in the world of military and diplomacy, but it has become indispensable in our information society as well as our daily lives. Cryptography is essential for protecting ourselves from third-party attacks. I really hope that researchers will come up with a quantum-proof encryption system in the near future. At the same time, it is important for us to adapt measures and do what we can do at the individual level. It is necessary for each of us to think about how we can enjoy using the internet safely. And that's all for this week's Science View. Thank you for joining us. And see you all again next time.